It had been a long time since I had been inside the Broome County Public Library on Exchange Street in downtown Binghamton, and I wanted to check the place out, see what it looks like. After being out of service for more than 15 years, I'm Bob Joseph from WNBS Binghamton Now. I'm with Broome County historian Jerry Smith. Jerry, you used to work inside this building for many years. Yes, more than 20 years I spent my life in that building, which opened up in 1904, and we closed it to the public in September of 2000. And right now we're in the middle of what had been the circulation area, the steps to the old mezzanine, uh, two sets of steps there, and then the reference room, which was on the right, just past one of the two fireplaces that the public was able to see, although we're not sure they were ever used. Some remaining furniture for those of us who sat at one of the two desks answering literally 50,000 questions a year, uh, assisting the public, anything from your used car price to your stock quotes to the best sellers. That was before the internet. Uh, much before. Even the day we left, we only had two stations for the public. That old circulation desk is actually the original one that used to be in a square in the center there in 1904, and they lengthened it and put it all in one stretch. Uh, the steps up to the second floor, original slate steps, uh, the railings made by Titchener's right here in Binghamton. Just like the current building, the railings made by Titchener's right here in Binghamton. It's just amazing the beauty inside, even though the place has not been in use for more than one and a half decades. Yes, and a lot of the electricity and the heat had been turned off, so even though it looks like it's in bad condition, it could be in much worse condition. Uh, some of our display cases, uh, the ornate lamps, which were put in in 78 and 79, and then the view out of the windows of the courthouse square. That's what I love. The Just a great view from yes, the top of the stairs. Yeah, the little niche there was for statuary back when it first opened. And the last owner before the county regained control uh, took down all the ceiling panels. So the public's actually right now seeing what it probably looked like about 1904 to 1950 when it still looked that way. This is the old children's room when it was on this side. When I started in the 1970s, uh, later on we moved it to the other side of the building. Our old microfilm area when we moved it up from the basement. And right there was our staff room, which used to be part of the original auditorium. If you took down all those false walls, there's still the remnants of an auditorium. Just neat wandering through and yep. And looking at, at these places, some places I had never been in, even when, when the library was open. Yeah, that far room that we just saw uh, actually has a full-length skylight above when it was the Binghamton Museum of Fine Arts, which is now part of Robertson Memorial, or Robertson Museum and Science Center. In this area, I, I was just That's wandering our, that, through. That was our boardroom. That was the old history room, and the Historical Society was located here in the 1910s. And it was our boardroom for many years, and then this, in the later days, was our children's room with no more than 15 people allowed in. But look, look above here. This, this is the part. Yes. As I looked up, I thought this the skylight was so neat, which none of us ever saw until later years when they tried to use some of the existing light. That was a great place for fine art. Jerry Smith, thanks for taking us through on this brief tour, but wonderful tour of one of Binghamton's most historic buildings. Thank you, Bob.